Alright, this is Frank Sinatra, and welcome to this review of the SD Gundam XX. Um, this is an older kit that I found at my parents' house, um, so I broke it out and decided to paint it and then review it for you guys. Um, this was released back in 2000. I got it in 2001 when I was 11. So the box is a bit dirty and beaten up. Couldn't exactly get this grime off of it, so... Yeah. But here we have ourselves the picture of the Gundam Double X. Over here we have our painted pictures of what it will look like when you're done painting. And then, same for both sides. Then over here it talks about its weapons like uh, the energy radiator plates, the twin satellite cannons, reflectors, yada yada yada. And the G Generation series right there. Um, this kit, um, one thing I don't have anymore is the sheet for the uh, stickers. So the stickers you will get with this will be for this um, V fin here and the centerpiece here also. You get a green one there. Uh, and for the back part of the head. Um, these green bits here will get stickers, the vents, that red bit, these yellow bits on the feet, and the um, satellite reflectors. You get a set for those. Oh yeah, and the chin. almost forgot. And um, you get three runners with this thing, and the runners are... Uh, one of the runners is this kind of bluish color. It's a little bit darker than that and white. Those are all the colors you get with these runners. But here we have our little manual with the same picture again. On the back here we have the front and back view of the double X plus it's talking about the kind of double X there. And then we have our little evolution chart here. My camera doesn't seem to want to focus on it. There it goes. And with the EZ8 and Wing Zero for the um, uh, Gundam X, the, the divider, then the Gundam Double X down there. There's a picture of the three runners that you'll get with this thing. And then it's talking about how to put the satellite cannons in. And then just basic, basic, very basic assembly. So, let's move this sucker down and turn on the light. So, here we have our Gundam Double X, right here. It's really, really small SD kit. Um, even though it was a 2000 release, the arms are solid objects. But for articulation, there is no up and down, only side to side, and only about that far each side. It's pretty restricted. The arms themselves, they can full 360, and that's the extent of their movement. The torso unit move to about there and to about there. The feet themselves are on pegs as well just like everything else and can move from side to side. On the back here these satellite cannons they can also move. It can go up and down then twirl around for when you're ready the satellite cannon. And then the satellite reflectors I'll show in just a second. Now for the satellite reflectors to get them going, well not exactly get them going, you know what I mean. I usually take off my arm to avoid scratching the paint, then you just open this up and then it's all nice and open. Put it back and again open the sucker up Put the backpack back on since it fell off. There we go. Okay. And then just swivel these suckers through. And there it is armed with its twin satellite cannons ready to go. Now this kit comes with a grand total of two accessories. And they are this shield here on a little peg. Fits into the hand just fine. If I wouldn't drop it, that is. Got it. Okay. And just push it in there. Shield is in. And this beam rifle here. Um, one thing that struck me odd about this beam rifle is it looks like they were going to give you a half 
the other half of this thing, but they didn't, and it kind of bothers me that we didn't get it. But you get a half a beam rifle, and it also fits in just fine. So yeah, that's the SD Gundam Double X. Um, I personally really like this kit. I don't know, there's just something about the Double X that I really like about the design, which makes me really wish that there was a 1 to 100 of it. But yeah, if you got $5 to spare, not including paint, you know, I say pick this kit up. It's just a nice little piece to have around. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Stick a cupcake in my... Ah!